Hi there, I'm Stephen Luke, and this is your morning update for Monday. An Indiana woman who disappeared in San Diego for a time has been found safe. The family of 20 year old Letitia Norris reported her missing early last month after she came to San Diego to visit her boyfriend and then stopped answering calls. San Diego police say they actually met up with Norris and she is not the victim of any crime. Today, the man who set fire to a historic building in La Mesa will be sentenced. Daniel Sandoval pleaded guilty to setting the Randall Lamb and Associates building on fire following protests related to the controversial arrest of a black man by a La Mesa police officer last year. He's set to be sentenced at 1.30 this afternoon. This morning, the Remain in Mexico policy is once again in effect at the border. It means migrants who want to enter the U.S. will have to stay in Mexico while they wait for immigration hearings. The program was reinstated by a judge after several states sued. The Biden administration says it still plans to terminate the program eventually. New travel restrictions take effect today for anyone returning to the U.S. on a flight from outside the country. Now, all passengers need to provide a negative COVID test within 24 hours of boarding their plane. Before today, you'll recall it was 72 hours. The Biden administration also extending a federal mask mandate requiring people to wear them on planes, trains, and buses through mid-March. A federal court has lifted a stay on San Diego Unified's vaccine mandate for students. It said a complaint from the family of a Scripps Ranch High School student did not show good enough reason for an immediate stop to the mandate. Attorneys for the family say they plan to take this case all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court. Registration opens today for next semester at schools within the San Diego Com uh, Community College District. So for the first time since last spring, the district is returning to a fairly normal schedule with a full schedule of in-person, hybrid, and online classes. The spring semester begins on January 31st. This week, the California Highway Patrol is taking some steps to keep our roads safer and freeways as well. Today marks the start of Older Driver Safety Awareness Week. Now, the CHP is offering a free Age Well Drive Smart course to try and help seniors drive safely when out there on the roads. You can register for this program online at chp.ca.gov. Just search Drive Smart. Today, we're going to learn the new name for San Diego State's new stadium in Mission Valley. The university will reveal the naming rights. The stadium is set to be finished just in time for the 2022 football season. If one of your resolutions for next year is to read more books, now's your chance to get started. Today, San Diego County Libraries and SDCCU unveiling their new library kiosk open 24-7. Here, customers can check out and return books round the clock, download audio books, and even tap into a Wi-Fi hotspot. The new kiosk is in Encinitas at the San Diego County Credit Union on North El Camino Real. As always, we'll keep you updated on the latest news right here at NBC7.com as well as on TV. And if you like podcasts, you should check out Today in San Diego. It's available wherever you get your podcasts. Hope you have a great Monday.